We're doing a quick look at an accessible cabin on Arvia on 12530. Obviously, at the notes deck 12, it's cabin 530. Like I say, it's an accessible cabin for anyone with mobility problems. Card inserted to activate the electricity. And as we go in, the door should automatically close, which is operated on the side by pressing this switch here and as we walk into the entrance there's two hooks which are high two hooks that are low which are easy to reach if you're using a chair on your right as you walk in is the bathroom which we'll have a look at switch on and off here to open it it's automatic as you press and open such and the door will open and here we see a very ample sized accessible bathroom starting on the right got a rail towel rail vertical and horizontal the door switch, which is open and closed, it's flap at the moment because I'm standing in front of it. Um, the toilet, which is easy up and down rail, which can be operated at different heights. With this button here, you press it and it easily slides up and down. Another vertical handrail. The toilet. It's a standard toilet, but if you request a seat, they will provide a seat to give extra height if need be. Round to the shower. The shower has fixed in them a seat which goes up and down there. And like the toilet seat, a shower seat can be requested if need be if uh, you require a seat which gives a little bit extra height with the uh, adjustable feet there's a low low fixed shower switches there shampoo and uh, um, shower gel there, low fixed shower trays, moving along, it's two shelves to put whatever you want to put on there, this is uh, low attached washing line if you want to dry anything, I'll just attaches to the wall here like so, and that gives a low slung washing line. Moving across to the um, sink, again, low attached glass, again, hand soap. The sink has a feature which can be lowered and hide a switch on here and the sink can be moved up and down if need be an ample sized mirror quite a large mirror and that's about it really and it's a low low floor space the only thing I did notice if you switch a shower on too hard because it's a very quite a powerful shower. If you have it on too hard, the water do does slop out quite a way to go down a drainage here. 
but that's not always necessary to have it on that powerful. So we move that into the room. See a nice size room. I think that's a pretty standard layout, but a lot bigger. Standard lamp with switches, USB, your bedside table there, put all your necessaries plugged in. Double bed, which obviously can be double or two single. Moving across the same this side, lamp, chargers, telephone, as you can call, obviously you call reception or in between cabins just by dialing whichever cabin number you need. Open shelving, plenty of room. Moving across, I think this is a standard mirror, I assume, on all cabins. Fridge underneath. Kettle, tea and coffee. Plugs, light switches, which does operate the main room as well as the table. If you're doing Whatever work you're doing from the table. TV. First one, full length mirror. Full length mirror, which opens up to another wardrobe, cupboard, shelving, safe, which you can set a full digit number plus a hashtag to whatever security number you require. Double wardrobe here. Life jackets on top. Ample coat hangers, but you can always bring your own if you wish to. I think it's a double double wardrobe on this side. Extra coat hangers under there if you require them. Picture on a wall, I assume blue means because we are on the port side, as we are an even number. I assume the color coding is the same, as in the color coding front and aft of the ship on the coloration of the fixtures at each end. Onto the balcony, which is a nice size balcony. Just tap the handle, that'll open. Open slowly. There's room for two large chairs, table. There's still ample room if you have friends in your cabin. Still ample room to put a, bring the two chairs inside, outside if you wish. View from the port side, we're roughly in the middle. Port side of the ship. We're on the way home at the moment. We're in the middle of the Bay of Biscay. The sun's still out, we're still making use of the last rays of sunshine before we go back. I think it's late October. When we get back to Southampton, I think that's predicted to be quite chilly. So, I think that's about it, really. And I uh, hope this information is uh, useful. So, if you. Uh, so, I hope you found it useful. And uh, thank you very much if you uh, got this far and watched it.